Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa today is going to grill, uh, not to say grill, uh, it's going to make three simple dish that uses the same main ingredient. I'm going to make um, grilled fish, okay? But because my fish today, my ikan baka today is actually a small black pomfret, about 300 gram, quite small, not enough for my family. So I'm going to also pan fry a little bit, a few pieces of big tiger prawn here. I got it from my, uh, this is actually gotten it from my favorite online uh, seafood seller. If you want to know where to buy, I will put a video, uh, put the buying description, a uh, buying link in the video description. Uh, then, so I have this, oh, I also have some leftover okra. So I cut into slices. Together I'm going to uh, cook it with the uh, the chili paste, the samba chili later, okay? So um, the f let's talk about the fish first. The fish is actually uh, decatted and also clean. And you I marinate with a little bit of uh, salt and also um, turmeric powder, okay? Salt and turmeric powder. Uh, the prawn, I just uh, trim it, yeah. So let's, uh, and my neighbor has, uh, she's kind enough to give me some banana leaves. So that's why, that's what makes me wanting to make this uh, uh, ikan baka today. And I have uh, 20 piece, about approximately 20 pieces of dried chili, which is already soaked until softened. Then this is about two pieces of red, fresh red chili, right? And also one piece of lemongrass, one small piece of ginger, one piece of shallot, two cloves of garlic. And to further enhance the flavor of the sambal, um, I have a, one a big teaspoon of tamarind paste. Yeah, this is a uh, asam puree. This is two tablespoons of um, dried shrimp, which is already rinsed and chopped, minced up, yeah? And this is uh, one big tablespoon of uh, blachan paste, yeah? You can also use blachan block or blachan powder. And of course, you will need the banana leaves. Let's start by making the sambal. Okay, so get ready your chopper. I have my mini chopper here. Pull in the chili. Why, why do I mix the both uh, dried and uh, raw chili? Because usually when you mix the different chili, all different chili comes with different flavor and different aroma. This is the main reason why, even different spiciness, yeah? This is why the reason I, I always like to mix. Okay, this is the lemongrass, garlic, ginger, and also shallot. Maybe shallot, I cut it into smaller and to ease the blending process i'm going to add a bit of water here not so much water because later i'm going to add in uh, oil yeah If you add too much water, it's, it makes the sauteing process longer later, yeah? So, not so much water. On the power. I don't know about you, every time I blend something, it, it's very satisfying. Okay, now I'm going to add in the oil. This will help to emulsify the blending process, meaning uh, it will get more creamier. See, you can see very clearly from here, it's actually getting creamy and creamier. Try to blend it a little bit more because you have put in the lemongrass. Lemongrass can be quite coarse, yeah? Quite rough.
I'm not adding any seasoning right here. Later, we can, we can add in when during the sauteing process. Increase the speed. Let me off the power first. Look at how creamy it becomes. This is the kind of consistency I personally like. So we're going to saute the sambal. Oops. Going to give it a lot of oil. You do need a lot of oil when it comes to sambal, yeah? So we will saute this sambal for probably about I would say between 5 to 10 minutes. I always like to make a little bit more so that I can keep for second day. <laughs> oh, nice. You can use medium to medium high heat to saute the chili, yeah? Oh, actually, I should have uh, saute, saute the <coughs> dry stream first. I forgot. It's okay. <laughs> I'll add in the dry stream right now. Now, the moment you add the dry stream, it is already very salty. So you have to go light with anything light, uh, salty later, yeah. And the blachian paste is also salty. Tamarind paste, or some paste. Ooh, now it's super, super fragrant. <coughs> also choking at the same time. So you need to keep on stirring so that it doesn't get burned. It can back burn quite easily, yeah? especially when you use too high heat. So uh, don't use too high heat, use between a medium or medium high. So you need to keep on stirring non-stop. And a lot of oil. Oh, you will get to see the color will get darker and darker. you will come back shortly. Okay, this is after about four or five minutes sauteing under medium heat. So you can see the oil started to break. A sign of telling you your chili paste is almost ready. Now I'm going to season this a little bit with some light soy sauce. And about one to two tablespoons of sugar. And it will continue gets a bit more darker. So I'll give this another two three minutes, then it is done. Okay, so this is after about I would say about six seven minutes. It is already done. A bit choking, but super fragrant. Then I can off the fire and uh, set it aside. Okay, so you put some oil here. We are going to pan fry the fish first. Put some oil here and heat up the oil. 
Then you put in the fish. You don't have to keep on flipping it. We will flip it after about two minutes, so we will come back shortly. Uh, I'm using a medium high heat right now. So this is after about a minute plus. You do take note that uh, you don't want to use too high heat right now. Uh, compared to my usual frying fish, my fried fish usually is very high heat. But uh, this one is medium to medium high because I have put in the turmeric and turmeric can get burned very easily. So don't, don't make it too high heat. APA did one uh, live with cooking APA session on uh, talking about wok. Actually, another one on cookware. You all can go and take a look. I'm going to cook the fish until uh, it's uh, becoming char halfway. Then I will add in the banana leaf and also the sambal. We'll come back probably about another one or two minutes. So while waiting for the fish, I prepare a banana leaf here. And I'm going to put one layer of sambal. Actually, one thing I don't have today is the calamansi. It would be good to have the calamansi. <laughs> okay. Okay, the fish is now about half cooked. Wow, very fragrant. Can you see this? Do you need to zoom in? Let me zoom in for you. Okay. <laughs> And over the other side, we will also put in the samba. So it is both covered with samba. If you do, you would like samba, but you don't want your samba to be too spicy, you just uh, use a bigger chili. Yeah? The, the bigger the chili, usually it is less spicy. Okay. Flip it over. Ooh. <laughs> it's flatter because the banana leaf has a bit of uh, water on it just now when I wash it. Now the next thing you do here is actually quite important. After you put in the fish, you want to close it, close the lid. Oops. Okay. Sorry, after you put in the fish, remember to close the lid. Why? Because shortly you are going to see um, the, the, the fumes releasing, the smokes and fumes releasing uh, from the banana leaf itself. Which is, which is going to fill up the whole space inside. And all these fumes is going to be absorbed by the fish. And that is what may, really makes our ikan baka so, taste so good because of the samba plus the aroma from the banana leaves and you really need to cover this see it's getting um, foggy up yeah or fog up because of the uh, smokes releasing from the banana leaves so we uh, we give this fish another about two to three minutes then it's done fully cook now there's one little trick i did just now not sure whether you notice or not i actually already charred the fish uh, meaning I already char both sides of the fish before I add in the banana leaf. So meaning now that I've already added in the banana leaf, I don't have to flip the fish anymore. I can just wait until it is fully cooked, then take it out because both of the surface is already char. Just a small little trick. Huh? Okay, this is after the approximately another two minutes. The fish is... Uh, Definitely cooked by now. 
So what I need to do is just to uh, take out this and uh, put it onto a plate. I'll decide which serving plate I'll be using later. Ooh, the chili paste is ch sambal is oozing out. Okay, off the fire. Okay, the fish is ready. I'm just going to quickly cook the prawn and also the where the okra. Forgot to on the heat. <laughs> oh, my fish is so smoky. Okay, so we are going to fry this prawn for probably about 3 minutes And then I will going to add in the sambal We come back shortly Okay, this is approximately 3 minutes just going to add in some sambal Give it a few stir and it is done If you want, you can give it a bit of uh, light soy sauce But my sambal, I think it should be salty enough I don't mind charring my sambal a little bit here To give it some enhanced flavour Ooh, it looks so appetizing. All right, done. I'm not even going to wash the wall. Just give it a bit of oil here and put in the okra. Stir fry it for a minute, maybe a minute or so, then it is also done. Um, this one, I'll probably give it a bit of uh, Saoxing wine Or you can put some water la. If you don't take alcohol, put water Now I'm going to add in Similarly, I'm going to add in the sambal Ooh, I still got extra sambal who won my extra sambal? <laughs> Probably to give it the uh, my neighbor who gives who gave me the banana leaf. Let me give it a bit of water here just to ease the cooking process. Hot water. See, immediately the cooking becomes so much faster. Okay, I don't want to overcook my okra. It's basically done. I'm going to off the fire and let me combine all this into a serving plate. Okay, so here's Appa's uh, tonight's dinner. My uh, ikan bakar platter. Yeah? Platter because I got prawn, I got fish, and so I got the okra. Lady's finger. And uh, this is lemon here because I don't have calamansi. Calamansi will be the best. Or lime will be even better. Uh, lime and calamansi is okay. Okay, so I hope you like my very simple video today. Uh, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.